my karma babies. I purchased three whole half salmon pieces. And as I was scaling it, descaling it, it occurred to me, I need to show my karma babies how easy and how simple this is to do. So, here's me doing the um, third one, I believe it is. It's either the second one or the third one. I really don't remember. But um, I'm going to show you real quick how to process this, how to descale it, and uh, here it goes. As you can see, it looks perfectly ready to eat, right? Looks like it's fine. You run your hands over it, you feel absolutely nothing, right? However, if you go backwards on the salmon, I placed bags in the sink uh, because I'm scaling more than one. I'm scaling three of them at once. Um, if you go backwards on this salmon, it looks, like I said, it looks perfectly fine now. Look at that. You could feel like you could cook it. No problem. Take your knife and go up like this. Just start going up on the salmon and you will see all the scales. See the scales there? Look at that. Look at the scales. So, now let me show you. Look at this, this is what's come off on the knife. And I'll sh try to show you so that you can see some of the scales. Look at that. As you can see, there are scales all along this salmon. Okay, look at that. Scales all along. You have to go in the opposite direction of the uh, salmon. Now, one good way of doing it is with a spoon. When you go back like this, the scales will actually deposit inside of the spoon. So, let me show you. See? How they, how they lined up in here. Okay, and I have a plastic bag in my sink to help, you know, with the mess. But if you go back like this with the spoon, it will help anything that flashes back. So, I love using a spoon when I do scale. Look at that, you see? That's a really good tip that I wanted to share with you guys about preparing your salmon. Fresh salmon is absolutely delicious. So what I'm doing now, I'm descaling them and then I'm going to store them in food storage. See? Can you see this? There we go. So you just keep scaling and just keep scaling. See how easy it comes? So this keeps it from flashing all over to, you know, it's going to, scales are going to be everywhere, but this keeps it from flashing over too much, so it really helps. There we go. Can you see that? Look at, these are all scales that came off. No, it doesn't look too good, guys, but, you know. It's a fish. And if you want it to taste the best that you can get it to taste, then you need to descale it. See? Okay. Just keep going all the way down. And you're going to come up with more and more. Look at that. Use a spoon. You won't have quite as much of a mess. You're going to have a mess because you are you know, just killing the fish. But this is a very good way of doing it to limit the mess. See? They just keep piling up on top of each other. The scales all in there. Okay? Your fish, you know, 
I don't know. I've always descaled mine, so I'm not sure what it would taste like if you don't. I think that a lot of people will buy it at the store, and it looks so delicious and ready to go that, you know, they don't descale it. And I think, you know, I don't know what it tastes like if you don't descale it. Look at that. Look at all that scales in there. Well, it takes no time to do three, and it's a lot cheaper if you buy the whole, you know, salmon. Well, this is cut in half, but if you buy the salmon whole and you scale it yourself, it's a lot cheaper. It's expensive as it is, but take a few minutes and do it yourself. And you've got a win-win. There we go. Not a pleasant sight, guys, but one that we have to do. We want some delicious food. Okay, there we go. After descaling, you want to wash down your uh, fish, you know, very thoroughly. And this is a really quick way to uh, to cut it, to proportion it off. What I do is I just cut a little slit where I want my pieces to be. And then I just, you know, I line it up and then I get my handy dandy kitchen scissors and I just cut through it and voila, I have my pieces that I can put in my uh, storage, long-term storage, and we're all set to go. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick video. I just wanted to share this with you, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye, guys.